preparing for a workshop that I've got to give tomorrow. 45 minutes, it's a small group, around seven, but it's with a mental health charity. So all of the members of the group will either be going through some kind of emotional distress or have experience of depression or bipolar. So basically facilitate group doing art. I am a little bit nervous, but I'm also quite excited because I really think art is such a powerful tool in helping people, especially if you struggle like with mental health. And I always find that actually doing some kind of art activity or activity where you're not focusing on yourself and you're able to do something outside of yourself is really, really beneficial. Yeah, the, the, the activity that I've kind of come up with, the idea, because it's only 45 minutes, it's quite a short session, is to do watercolour collage. So, you know, like we'll do washes, splatters, and working with like maybe wax crayons and coloured pencils. And then I'll get them to cut those out and then assemble them to make Oat. so we'll have like a nautical kind of theme and the idea is that they'll be able to use that kind of icon on a greetings card or they might be able to frame it up as a nice little handmade gift. It is quite simple but because of the time uh, being quite short I don't want them to not be able to finish the project. I always think it's good that when you do a workshop that people you're able to lead them through and they're able to actually have a finished piece at the end. So that is the plan. I've just come down stairs to the garage uh, to get some materials for the workshop and the spiders. Uh, the last time I was in here was probably about three weeks ago and in that amount of time it's like they've all just moved in from the garden and set up camp. I can't believe how many webs they have spun. It's pretty ridiculous. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see that but maybe you can see glints but look they've kind of webbed all over the desk. All over the zips and if you come here even like gone across here but maybe you can't see that so fast at making the, their webs I've done my worksheet and I've done my lesson plan so all I have to do is just pack everything up double check I've got everything and then I'll be ready for tomorrow probably what I'm going to be taking with me tomorrow. So I've got some watercolour pans, I've got some oil pastels and then this massive box of brushes and sponges and then my paper. So I think I'll be ready for tomorrow. I have arrived at the venue that I will be teaching at today so this is just a really quick video just saying that I'm here <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit nervous but I think I'm gonna be okay because I've planned the workshop all right and I'm looking forward to delivering it and seeing what um, all the people make because you never know what people are going to create even though you might think everything might look the same it's not so that's quite exciting anyway I better go so I'll see you afterwards well, I've just finished the workshop and I think it went really well the, all of the clients seem to really respond and create something really really nice yeah so it was really good I won't know if they want me back again. I just wanted to vlog that it's gone really well and there was good positive vibe and everyone was really positive about the work they produced and that's the main thing. So I was glad about that. Okay, so yeah, it's been good, been good. 
and we'll see what happens. All right. Someone's just ordered a pack of the screen printed cards that I um, have in my shop, mellybee.co.uk. Um, it's always kind of cool when someone orders something. I, don't, I can't say I get orders every week, but every now and again it's really nice when someone does. And these are like quite encouraging cards, purposes that you would put them up on your wall or give them to a friend who needs encouraging. So this one says, you're amazing one side, and then yes, the other side. So just positive affirmation cards. So I'm going to get them off in the post today. I've also uh, just changed the artwork on my YouTube channel, updated it, and tried to make the content, you see there, try and make the content look more consistent in the branding. So that was, that was pretty fun to do. I quite like this uh, green, you see on my top it's also there. So I've got the green and that peachy colour, which is also in my top I realise. I quite like that those colours. So yeah, I've given myself some kind of brand and definition. Definitely, um, it's all the YouTubes I'm going to do are probably based on illustration or art and maybe a bit of design. But yeah, I'm excited to produce new content in that area and hopefully get something up each week. It might be a vlog, but it might also be like a tutorial or um, some kind of tip that I've picked up and want to share with you guys so yeah please subscribe and um, I look forward to hearing from you okay cool guys bye